hi welcome to this video in this video I am going to explain to you about how to design a simple website this simple website can be used for your personal use or else for blogging or else for just making a company's website or just a normal simple website and and I am telling you again this is not an applicate website this is just a simple website for applicate website, I have already said it, you have to go for different kind of WordPress themes for applicate website. But since this is a simple website, we are just going to go for a different theme. And this is the look of the website. And this is what the simple website building, these categories are there, home, about page, blog, contact, everything is here. This is the slider I have just added over here and in this video i am going to explain to you about how to design a simple website and before making a simple website we have to purchase a domain name and you have to go for a good hosting company because hosting company and the domain name was the vital plays a vital role in a wordpress website so i'll just explain to you which is the best hosting company and a domain registration company in the world the best registration and the where and the hosting company in the world is SiteGround. They have n number of plans, and that's a web hosting plan is also there. WordPress hosting plans are there. WooCommerce hosting plans are there. WooCommerce hosting is nothing but just making an e-commerce kind of website. So cloud hosting is also there. So there are n number of plans are there for site ground the site ground i'm just giving you i will just give a link below the description in the i have just given the link in the description you can click the link and you can get 70 percentage of discount for site ground so you can just go and you can follow the steps and you can create your steps or you can create a beautiful website of your own you can create a uh, can create an e-commerce you can create a matrimonial you can create a simple blogging website and inside that there are three plans are there in hosting plans startup plan grow big plan and go big plan guys i am telling you again and again don't go for a startup plan because only one website is there for startup plan please go for the best seller grow big plan the grow big plan comes around 71 dollars per month and it comes for only six dollars per month and you can add the most important thing is you can add unlimited websites for this plan and you will have a space of around 20 GB of web space and it 25,000 monthly visitors are allowed and unmetered traffic and free WP installation free WordPress installation is also there free SSL is there SSL is nothing but the logged kind of thing the SSL is a secure socket layer and uh, it's most important thing to avoid the security breach and free cdn is there and free email is also possible and wordpress cli and ssh unlimited databases and uh, you can have the grow big plan and uh, if the budget is not a constraint you please you can go for go geek plan it's just 12 dollars a month so this is how it works and now it's a web hosting plan and the same thing is managed by wordpress hosting plans also in wordpress hosting plans you can go for a startup plan please don't go for the startup plan of four dollars please go for the grow big plan of six dollars and i have given the link in the description you can click the link and you can get 70 percentage of off for site ground domain registration and hosting just go for it guys it's a once in a lifetime offer you just follow the videos videos and create a website if you have any doubts please go comment in the please tell your doubts in the comment section or else i have just given the mail id also you just go for the mail id and write a mail to me right so this is how it works so don't forget to register in SiteGround. one of the best 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 uh thing uh, hosting services of all time site ground and uh, i will explain to you about how to create applicate website and how to create money by making a simple website and also an applicate website or some other websites i'll make sure from 30 days from now if you just follow my channel and subscribe to my channel 
you will just get around thousand dollars a month that is in indian money it is 75000 rupees so after registration you will get a email and after getting click the email and type your domain name and slash c panel you are just logging inside the c panel this is the interface of the c panel the interface of the c panel may differ there are new interfaces for site ground but you can just have a look at the normal c panel interface and this is the interface for c panel and this is how it looks it has a databases domains and the subdomain zone editor everything is there so first thing and first and foremost thing what we have to do is we just have to look at the interfaces the interfaces may change you can just search for the categories and you can install it that's it if you know a proper english you can install it it's not a rocket science it's a very easy kind of thing just install it and first thing you have to install wordpress wordpress i have already installed and i'll just show you to you now go for softalicious app installer right i have already made three installations and now for your for demo i am just installing whatever for your concern so i am just installing i'll just show you how to install the wordpress just click softalicious app installer yes i'm just clicking it yes and now i'm just scrolling it and click install right install so that's it this is how it's the software setup and just select the domain what you have purchased and in the directory there will be wp please erase the wp yes this is the ratings everything is there and the version is also good so my blog everything is there okay so in where you want to install please remove the directory we don't want a single directory to get installed please remove the wp directory over there yes it's fine the version is good the domain what we have purchased i have just installed it if you have ssl ssl is free with ssl site ground you can just note it as https you don't have to go for http because the ssl certificate is free with the site ground so site name is my blog if you want you can change the name right i am just naming it as with my name arvind right it's your wish we can change it later also that is not a one time changing land like that but this wp in directory should be changed right so it's happening and arvind i have just typed arvind and i'm just scrolling it and i just wanted to make the username arvind online i am just typing it as arvind online my as my site name and then i am just doing it as my wordpress blog is there for site description i am just typing it as website right and uh, this fine uh, and next what i just wanted to do is right website and right so i'm just typing it the site description and just typing this website and digital marketer and please change the admin password which is comfortable for you right just type the admin password right and okay if you want you can have this admin email or else you can just type your email id it's your wish and it's everything is please cross check again and again whether everything is fine yes in the language is english right install click install please don't select login items and all 
okay wp please remove it in, inside the directory and then admin email just be the normal email you can use it for your daily personal use and just type install within seconds it will get installed so not like this uh, domain and hosting linking and all would take time but wordpress installation will be done in minutes right so it's congratulations the software of wordpress has been installed successfully and yes so just go and log in inside the wordpress just type your domain name slash you can type wp hyphen admin or else you can type the, your domain name slash login the two things you can use like arvind online the arvind online is a domain name you can just select whatever domain name you wish you just type your domain name slash login or slash wp hyphen admin so i have just typed the username and the password what i have entered previously while installing the wordpress and your wordpress dashboard will display now and this is yes boom the wordpress dashboard has been installed and it is displaying to you so this is how my after installation of the wordpress this is how my website looks i just wanted to make the changes and so i am inside the dashboard of wordpress yes and this is have a look at this dashboard it has a home host media posters pages and you can view the websites plugins users everything is there tool settings everything is there tool settings appearance themes and everything is there you can collapse the menu everything you can do and this is the place where you are going to design the website so first and foremost thing we need a good theme and a very simple theme because it is a simple website we just wanted to go for a very simple and a beautiful theme these are all already a default theme of 2016 2017 and all but the problem with these themes are these are very heavy in nature and the loading time it takes some time so you don't want to be in the loading time should be very less and it should load faster to rank in google i will teach in a separate video about how to do seo for ranking the normal websites affiliate websites and also about uh, matrimonial or any job websites anything i'll just teach you later right the first and foremost thing what you have to do is just have a look at it and by the way guys you don't want to, please select the theme please type the theme as spacious spacious is a simple and a very beautiful theme for uh, making a very beautiful website just type spacious in new themes and just select and install the spacious and the most important thing guys to make a website or to make a wordpress website beautiful simple website the most first and foremost thing that you don't want to be a so much of technical persons or you don't want to be a techie or you don't need to study about the code it's just a simple thing you can install go by the flow and you can install the website so you just go click appearance inside that themes and just select a new theme called spacious and install it please delete the old themes that's it so a theme has been installed so i have installed the theme and you can see there is a slight changes in your website just go and have a look at the website and you can see there is a slight changes in your website right yeah so themes are there customized or there so after the theme has been selected yes i am just wanted to change the customization of my website so the theme has been installed and it has been activated after in activated i am just clicking an icon called the customize which is in the dashboard of the wordpress now after clicking the customize you will have a screen like this and in this you can just make the changes 
you can change the logo you can change the call to action you can change the footer you can change the widgets everything i will explain to you step by step please i am just changing the logo now just remove this logo yes and i just wanted to select a logo i am just going inside and i just wanted to upload the new logo over here yes and yes i'm just searching for some images and i have already have some images for logo and uh, and you can design but the logo by your own or, or else you can download the logo from google but i will teach you in a separate video how to design your own logo with a free software right so this is how i have designed the logo and i have just kept and i am just downloading it yes yeah i am just downloading it and i am uploading to that media library of wordpress so i am checking out in which folder the logo is available yes fine so it is in downloads just i'm just closing it i'm just going to the downloads yes and i am selecting the files clicking the downloads so sorry i have just clicked the desktop just click the downloads yes and then i'm just going inside yeah users okay okay yes and i have installed the logo image for this beautiful website so i just don't want to crop this image if you want you can crop the image also i am just skip the cropping and the logo is installed right the first work is over and i have just shown you how to install the logo in another video i'll just show you how to make a logo for your company with a different website right just have a look at it and this so i am publishing it so now i just don't want this top business top sidebar everything i just wanted to remove the sidebar and i just wanted us just a just a slider that's more than enough i just don't want this call to action text and all i'm just removing all this call to action text everything just click the edit button over there and just remove the unwanted uh, with gets which are making a hindrance for making a simple website i am just removing the website one by one right and now and i am removing the unwanted widgets which are just disturbing to make a beautiful simple website so after i am just removing the testimonial just click the edit button just click remove yes i am just business bottom sidebar also i am just removing yes with get section i am just having a look at it yeah so just go for the wordpress dashboard click the customize and you can just have a look at the unwanted widgets just remove the unwanted bit unwanted widgets and just make a plain page now just go for pages add a new page or an old page i am just going to edit the previously home front page of spacious theme i am just clicking going to the click the pages go for home pages and click it over here and this is the home page and in that home page i am just adding a title as home yes and after i am just removing the default text 
message what is present in the page i am just removing it and by the way you can just type about your company you can type about yourself everything in this but since i am just explaining to you about how to create a website i just wanted to just copy and paste a dummy text message right so i am just typing it as fake text or dummy text yes this is the dummy text i am just copying it i am pasting it over there so going to the home page editing the home page and i am copying i am just taking a dummy text and pasting it over there please don't you also please don't copy the dummy text and please don't place it in your website i am just telling you again i this is just i am just explain you how to create a website for this reason i am just pasting a dummy text you just type about yourself since it will take some time you just type about yourself about your company about everything right i am just explaining you how to design a page so i am just removing the block over here so everything is fine right so i am removing this block also so these are all html fonts i am just removing this yes so it's now the page is ready it is getting ready and now yeah so i am just aligning the pages over here right so the home is ready everything so in document and in block it is there and the visibility is public publish yes i am just publishing it and the most important thing what we have to do is just click page attributes and the permalink so there featured image is there you can add a featured image also uh, this is move to trash please don't click that one it will go to the delete button and after that featured image is also there you can add a beautiful featured image also right so next curved and now discussion is there so going to the page attributes please select page builder template it will be in a business template or whatever you just select the page builder template and then you just go for in parent pages you just go for that and after that you just go for layout in layout you just wanted to go for no sidebar full width right i am again repeating it should be a page builder template and in layout it should be a no sidebar full width and just publish the page your page is ready guys right and i'm viewing this page i'm just view this page yes about section so i have already added the menu i already removed the menu uh, widgets and now i just designed a page for you the now the second thing what we have to do is just go for again you just go for all pages and there is a about section here and edit the about section also the same format what i followed for the home page should be followed here i am just about page i am just adding a dummy text and i am just making the changes in the document what is the changes i'll repeat it again go for page attributes and page builder templates and then you just go for a uh, layout and no sidebar full width right so i'm just removing this blocks of html which causes confusion so the same thing i'm just designing it so these are all link pages because this url juice will be transferred to some other website so that is the reason i'm just removing this block i will put a separate video how to do seo for this simple websites 
and also affiliate website and most complicated affiliate websites and i will also teach you about the most important plugins for seo and all in a separate thing right that's the most important thing for website making is the trend changes day by day by hours by hours right you just follow this this is always a evergreen field you just become a web designer and you can just earn lot and lot of money so visibility is there publish is there okay permalinks is there yes and select the page builder template and previously i just told you to select no sidebar full width right and the about page is also ready and now you can publish the about page also so after making the about pages you just have a look at the view page and just click the about page so this is the about page is also ready so after making the home page and about page so the next thing is blog just click the blog and i'm just again going to the dashboards blogs pages just go to the pages and edit this blog page also so after editing this blog pages yes have a look at this and you can have a look at the discussion comments everything so everything is fine author you can change the category everything as you wish and just go for the post so blog page is fine you have updated it and go for the post and click add new so the blog menu is there but there are no post inside the blog so i'm for making the post you should not go for pages go for post and click the number as add new and just add a title of your own just create a post on whatever topic you are comfortable with telling about your company telling about your products or telling about your services for now i'm just uh, adding a dummy text for the post also i'm just copying this post and i'm adding this yes the post is ready and i'm copying the dummy text post heading is ready now i'm copying a dummy text for this post yes i'm just copying it yes yes and copying it and pasting it and by the way there are n number of companies for doing hosting and domain services they are not very fast they have so much of defect and the hosting should be always in up time many two or three days they have shut down the many other hosting companies please again and again i am repeating again and again please go for site ground hosting and i have given the link in the description you can just click the link and you can just go for site ground hosting yes and i am adding this category if you want you can add a category new category also you can add for this post right and this is parent category new category everything you can add it over here and just adding it as a new category for this post so simple website is added yes so i just wanted to add a featured image i haven't got reduced i just prepared i have not made a featured image at all i'm just selecting this some image and i'm just showing you how to add a image in the post so that's the most important thing i'm just adding an image right so just i'm going inside yeah i'm just searching for some images whether it's there just select 
in the post there will be a slot in the document section you go to the post edit the po add new post and go to the documents and in the side there you will be selecting no sidebar everything and just add an image there will be featured images click featured image and you can add the image and page attributes i have already said you and page attributes should be full width and a, a layout should be no sidebar full width yes everything is fine you have added a fe featured image for your post and just cross check it whether it's everything has been done fine everything is good and now it's time to click the button called publish yes and it's published fine so this post is also live now so you have created a home page you have created a about us page and then you have created a post page the post is fine so click hello world I am deleting the old default post over there and again I am just adding two posts if it is a website just please add a two or three posts and I am just showing you again how to add a post again because how to add a post again just add new go to the post click the post simple website building and add a dummy text for over there right in right side there is a click called document just click this and there is a featured image also and you can just select add the featured image in page attributes you can add this to this category okay in featured image you can add and the page attributes no sidebar full width and in page attributes it's page builder template right the page attributes is not displaying in the post it is displaying in the pages so post you have to select only the layout that is no sidebar full width and it is you can publish it so the two posts are ready right yes so boom the, this is how our website looks so you have installed a theme you have done a home page you have done a about us page and you have added the two posts just i'm just clicking the blog you can have a look at the two blogs what you have created now there is a section called read more if you just click the post will open contact us contact it's a default some new york address is there i'll just show you how to change the address and i'll also show you how to change the footer address also the site's footer address also i'll just show you right So I am clicking home again so how to change the text in the slider what I have added just activate the slide go to customize you go to the dashboard of WordPress just click customize go over there and there is an option called activate slider just go to the activate slider and you can enter the title of your slide so i'm just if you want you can change the images also and now what i have done is just enter the title of your slider right so i just i just show you how to change the title and just typing it as simple website simple website for beginners I'll just typing it in the slider description as step by step procedure right if i want i can just change the text inside the button also and if you want i just want i can also redirect that button to some other website or else to the same page 
right you can add the link also over here so it's been done and so about page is there just click the about page copy the URL over there and you add this link and paste that link over here in the slider fine okay okay I haven't added any images so I am just publishing it fine this image is good so I'm just leaving that image I am publishing it so going back and after we're going to the dashboard I just wanted to click the dashboard thing and now I'm just clicking the media library whether any images or anything is there I haven't added any new images so let's leave for now and now just click the pages yes so plugins everything is done so customize I'm just going again to the customize in the appearance themes below the themes there is a icon there is a text called customize just click the text and now it's fine so everything I have just made I have just made two pages I have just made two posts and I'm just making this read about I, I have just changed the link so if you click the read more it will redirect to the about page now I'm just making changes in the footer I'm just making the changes in the footer and just removing this footer unwanted widgets so that I can just make a clean display of my contact details that is more than enough for a simple website if you want you can add how much widgets you want right so this is how it works and I'm just clicking the widgets and footer sidebar one I'm just changing my address so I'm doing this video from Chennai India and India and you can publish it and I'm just going over to the contact details and also I'm just changing the contact details over there also just clicking the menu of the contact and I'm just changing the address over there so this is the address of where I reside in Chennai I'm just making the changes in the contact details and I'm publishing it so the contact details has been changed in the footer also and also in the contact menu also so we get this there so slider one slider two I just wanted to change some text in the slider two also I'm just showing you how to change the text in the slider too. I'm just typing the text as right. You can have a look at it by going to the slider. What the text? So website learning for beginners. Just I'm just typing it. And I just wanted, I'm just entering the slider description also. 
see this you don't want to type the same word i am just telling you the demo you can type according to your services according to your product so this is how the slider works and after that i just wanted to if you want you can add a link over there if you want you can add an image for the slider also so and you can also add the link also so website learning for beginners and learn step by step is the description of the slider description so find the slider has changed and it is in updated and now i am just again clicking to all pages contact and i am editing that one i just wanted to remove this text over here which is annoying and i'm just removing the text which is displaying in the contact menu and now i just want i can change the font size also i can change the color of this contact details everything over there by clicking it over here and fine i am updating the contact also so contact page template here i just don't want to make a page builder template i just wanted to go for contact page template and everything is fine now so i am just visiting the site so everything is fine So dashboard is there. So in select layout, I'm just going for a default layout for contact menu because I don't want anything special for no sidebar or fill with nothing like that. I'm just going for a default contact template. So this is fine. It's plain and it's neat. The contact is plain and it's neat, right? So yeah, this edit button will not be displayed when it comes to the website, right? document and now it's showing the edit button over there and now I just don't want to get this one I'm just publishing it okay I'm viewing the page again yes yeah now I'm going back to the dashboard appearance and go for menus please see how to add menus for your website this is the most important thing this is one of the most important thing and in the appearance just click menus over there and in appearance theme just ask menus yes and then uh, about us is there blog is there contact details is there but home page is not there so I'm just creating a new menu. You can add, you can name it for your menu section, whatever you name, whatever name you like, because this menu name will not get displayed in the site. So I'm just adding the menu. I'm just clicking it view all uh, header. I'm just adding it as menu settings as primary menu, home, about, blog, and contact. I'm adding this to the menu. and it is duplicating again because previously default there would have been a old previous home on about blog contact i am just removing this previous home about blog and contact over there i am just removing to over here and the blog is there removing it over there about is there removing to over there i am just removing to over there 
just if I just wanted to arrange the menu just arrange it contact and about this then contact blocks right if you design this kind of simple website in the market you can charge around 7000 to 10000 rupees and it's a very easy task you can do it in one hour and you can get the 10000 rupees uh, after minusing for domain and hosting you will earn in uh, within an hour to 5000 to 6000 rupees so the website is ready and home is there about is there pages and blog we have added we have updated the contact details and we have just made a, a menu we have added we have decreased the website uh, widgets and all so contact everything is fine so now what we have just wanted to do is just go to customize and it's fine about is there yes blog is there there just click the blog and remove these search widgets over here remove the search widgets recent post I don't want to see any recent post or else I do recent comments everything if you want you can add if you don't want you just remove it I'm just showing you how to add and I just wanted to show you how to remove it so categories let the categories also because the post should be in a plain format and it is very usable to others so this is fine and this is fine please update it after making don't forget to publish it so i'm just clicking right sidebar just clicking it and i am footer sidebar yes i'm just clicking the menus so everything is fine so all the sidebar widgets has been removed. Let the archives add a meta description. Let it be there. So I'm publishing it. So fine. I have done the menus. I have removed these widgets in the blocks. And every changes has been done. And after making the changes, I'm just again going to the dashboard and I'm just going to the appearance and I'm just clicking the widgets. So here it's fine. And now I'm just having a look at it in the any archives meta, everything is there. So this is how the widgets page looks. Fine. Okay. Just have a look at it. Okay. Header sidebar search is there. Okay, let it be there. So business top sidebar call to action widget is there. And single page is there middle sidebar is also there and then bottom business bottom sidebar is there okay so i am having a look at the site so it gets it's done menu is done pages are done blocks are done contact details are done So after finishing this, I'm just having a cross check. Everything is fine over there. And contact details is also there. Okay. Widgets is there. Yes. So fine. Contact page sidebar is there. Checking it, everything is fine. We have done a very beautiful, simple website, and I have just made the two pages, two posts. I am logging out. 
right fine just have a look at the website what you have created after logging out so you will get an idea just add the domain name in your browser right I'm just adding my domain name yes boom the website is ready and home pages about page blog pages contact details everything is fine and the beautiful single website is done and the loading speed check the loading speed is also very high the most important thing is this very easy and you can earn money in a very easy and in a proper legal way and for doing this the provider you just if you buy one hosting as in the site ground I have just given the link in the description this is the site final output I have just given the link in the description just go and buy the site ground hosting and you can make unlimited websites as you want since the site ground hosting plan is consists of unlimited website plans the second plan right you must grow big by making this plan and uh, just go to this plan and buy as much website as you can and design as much and as, as much website as you can and make money by making the website thanks a lot bye bye